If there's been one question that's been asked more than any other about my ultimate guide to the Galaxy S8, it's this one. How the hell do you get to this screen? Oh. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel and just before we jump into this particular video I want to say from the bottom of my heart once again thank you very much for the unbelievable response that I'm receiving from the Ultimate Guide to the Galaxy S8. It has surpassed all expectations and is quickly becoming one of the most successful videos I've ever made but it has brought me one or two interesting questions, in particular the device maintenance screen. Let's set the scene. Here is my beautiful Galaxy S8, still with the stock launcher on it because I haven't used it yet actually as a phone and I'm still making videos on it. Anyway, if I go to settings, I have plenty of options here and near the top is device maintenance. It's a simple setting, I've not changed anything, it's been there since the start. And if I tap on that, it will launch a device maintenance screen with five options at the bottom. Now I'm getting conflicting reports about who actually has the device maintenance screen at all and in particular the device security screen which if I tap on it I can then do a scan phone option which will then do a quick check for viruses and malware and hopefully it doesn't find anything which is great news. So what seems to be the problem? Well put simply a large portion of you have been posting in the comments of the video but you simply don't have access to part of if not all of the device maintenance area. Of particular absence seems to be the security screen. So where the hell is it? So I went off onto the internet and I couldn't find any specific information, so I decided to take my question to the community. On XDA and Reddit I simply posted, I have the screen, do you have it? If not, who is your carrier? And a lot of people from carriers such as AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon said that they simply didn't have access to that screen. So the answer might be that the carrier or regional devices on the Samsung Galaxy S8 are locking out this feature. I can tell you from a personal perspective that I bought this Samsung Galaxy S8 from an official Samsung store in Canada. And I've got similar stories from other people in Canada who are on carriers such as TELUS and Bell Mobility. They do have these screens available. So my assumption of Samsung trying to unify the security on their phones and putting it all together as standard in a device is complete rubbish. It looks as if the carriers are removing that and then adding their own security. Much to the annoyance of some people. Now this is not the definitive answer on the subject, I'm sure there are plenty of other potential answers to that. Someone did post that it could depend on the chip that you have in your Samsung because it can use two different processors, but again that's unconfirmed. If you know any more information I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this quick video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to subscribe to the channel for a lot more content just like this, then make sure you do subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.